tutorial we're just going to have a quick look at the RGB parade but before I do that I'm just going to very briefly go back to the YC waveform where I've got chrominance turned off and we're looking at the brightness of a clip okay so the darks are at the bottom and the brights are at the top and you can see this area here is referring to the brightness through his hair and this this white smoke and some of the highlights that come along the darkness it's going to be the darkness in his cloak here that's really far blacker and you can see that down here so you've got used to the idea that we're looking at the clip from left to right and the YC waveform from the left to right but that up and down from the bottom is the darks and the tops are brights and we can see that this happens to be in millivolts but we can also do it as IRE from 0 to 100 okay so now you're used to that you'll get the idea of an RGB parade because an RGB parade rather than having all of the composite video so the whole thing that's here represented in one graph it splits the color channels now video is recorded in red green blue RGB so what an RGB parade is going to do is going to split the RGB the red green blue channels and do exactly what we have here looking at the luminance values for those individual color channels so again you find it from the drop down the panel menu we go to RGB parade and what we're looking at is a very well balanced shot this is an excellent RGB parade it's shown that the reds the greens and the blues are all pretty much the same obviously there will be differences because we've got a red strip here so we might have a bit more intensity in the red at this point so those are sort of fairly dark reds but overall that's a very well balanced shot in that all three channels are the same clearly we've got a bit more green coming up around about here so we've got bits and pieces that are shown there are obviously going to be differences between the channels and we can see that the ranges here red green and blue are clearly shown so the red is going to go the highest green and then blue so we've got the ranges shown with these three bars at the side but the actual ranges are shown as very balanced now that's shown that there's no tinting no um, problems particularly with the shot that that's a well balanced shot but occasionally you get shots that aren't well balanced for instance let's open this one here and let's have a look at the RGB parade and instantly you can see that there are problems the reds are completely different and they're skewed to the greens and the blues the greens and the blues are closer but they're still not ideal but the reds are completely wrong now the problem we've got with this shot is it's not been white balanced the white balance of the camera has not been set up properly so what should be pure white say his, his collar which should be pure white clearly isn't pure white it's got a red tinting to it and you can see that really coming out here with the red being far higher and stronger particularly at the brighter end so that would be a brighter red clearly at this point so the RGB parade is showing the overall color channels red green and blue split out and you can get an idea of how good the shot is simply by looking at this but particularly with this shot there is actually a really bright red item that arrives so we've got a big bright red item that arrives so clearly there is going to be additional red that's going to be able to show throughout this shot where this great red item comes in but even so we can still see that these three color channels are unbalanced which says immediately I need to look at color correction I need to consider whether my white balance has gone what can I do about that we can do a lot of this in the fast color corrector and that's what we're going to move to in the next tutorial